Hello guys, welcome back. So just like we designed the user interface for our registration tab page, same we will do for our login tab page. So for that purpose, we have to go to the login tab page and here we can simply say single child scroll view child column widget children widget and as you know that we have already created a reusable custom text field widget so we can just directly call that and create the email and password input field so for that purpose we will simply go to the registration tab page and instead of writing it uh, I mean create uh, initializing the text editing controller we will just copy this email and password text editing controller from here okay just like this and then the next thing we have is basically to copy this whole form from the registration page and then paste that here okay alongside with the form key so we have form and we need only the email and password email and password custom text field remove the remaining ones we have to just import the custom text field dot dot now if I show you then here you can see email and password so that is the advantage of using the reusable code that is reusable widget which we created custom text field okay so we even use that on our login tab page also one more thing which we will uh, add here is basically the login button so from the registration tab page we will just copy this elevated button alongside with this size box and then here after the form we will simply pass that just like this and as you know this is our sign in or you can say login button so we will just say login just like this and above this form okay that is above the email and password we want to add a icon or an image you can say and I will provide this image which is by the name login okay just download this image and then copy it and come back to the project right click on images and click paste and click OK so now inside the images we have login.png image okay so above the form we can say image.asset and inside the images folder we have an image by the name login.png first make sure that if your app is already running okay then close the debugging okay by clicking this red button and then install the app again because we have added a new image file so that's why we have to re uh, I mean s install the application again on our phone the court restart will not work if you add a new image so the app is running now we have to set the height and width okay so we will just adjust the height of this image because it is too much big okay so there are two ways okay one is basically to give height like this okay in numbers okay but this is not the good approach you know the good approach is basically to set the width or height of any image or any widget S width and height you can set according to the screen size that is let's say some user may have a phone which has small screen size some may have a phone which have, which I mean which may have a big size okay so we have to make it dependent on the screen size just like if you remember on the registration we have done the same thing while uh, setting the radius for the circle avatar okay let's say if a user has a phone which has small screen size or let's say if a user has a phone which has big uh, screen size no matter whatever it is it will just take the screen width 
okay and it will take 20 percent of it okay whatever the screen width is it will take 20 percent of it so this is the professional approach okay to fit your uh, ui on any screen so i hope you understand the whole concept and the whole idea why i have explained this okay and why i do not go with the uh, hard coded values like this okay because this is not a good approach the good approach is to adjust the height width okay or size according to the screen size so yeah that's it now uh, I, here I can simply say I will just take the height okay whatever the height of the user phone is we will just take 40% of it or you can go with 35% so this looks really good now so whatever the screen size is we will take the that is the height whatever the screen height is we will take 40% of that for this image height so that let's say it may not cause problem for the user who has a phone with very small screen size or let's say there is a user who may have a big uh, phone screen size it will just ac adjust according to the screen size let's apply some padding on this image from all the sides so we can simply click here click on this yellow bulb and wrap with padding so from all sides it will be good just like this let's decrease this space okay so inside the form we have uh, 20 so we will decrease this to 10 just like this so this is all about our login login tab page user interface design and this is our registration tab page UI design